Jennifer is live from her own yard with some tips this morning on finding the perfect mower for you. Good morning, Jen. Good morning, and yeah, my lawn could use a little rain and a little cutting. Of course, when you start to not be able to see the dog toys in the grass, you know it's time to mow. And if you are in the market for a new mower, you're in luck because Consumer Reports puts all sorts of mowers and tractors through a series of tough tests to find those that are a cut above the rest. Mowing season is here, and lucky for you, Consumer Reports testers spent the winter months in sunny Florida putting mowers and tractors through a series of tough tests to see which machines make the cut. The latest tests of walk-behind mowers shows you can get top performance from battery-powered mowers. This year we found that battery units perform just as well as gas in every tested category. Testers assessed each mower's cutting and mulching performance as well as handling and maneuvering. If you're looking for an easier, hassle-free mowing experience, Consumer Report says, you may want to consider making the switch to battery power. You don't have to spend as much on maintenance. They tend to be much quieter. And a lot of people tend to enjoy the bells and whistles that come with the battery-powered units more than the gas. Even if you're not spending too much, you can find a battery mower that'll do a great job and won't break the bank. For example, you'd save more than $200 choosing this top-rated self-propelled Greenworks battery mower rather than the top-rated Honda gas model. Both rate highly in Consumer Reports reliability surveys and deliver excellent mulching. For half as much, Consumer Reports says this battery-powered Cobalt from Lowe's also offers excellent mulching. And if you prefer to do the pushing yourself, consider this recommended $350 mower from Ryobi. Still not convinced a battery mower is right for you? This self-propelled Honda is less than $500 and offers an even cut, excellent mulching, and very good handling. And if your lawn is big enough to require a riding mower, this John Deere S120 is a great choice at a great price. Now, one downside to battery-powered mowers is that they do need to be charged, of course. Each charge usually lasts anywhere from 30 to 45 minutes, so you do need to plan ahead and make sure you've got it charged before it's time to get out and mow your yard. And also keep in mind, after about five years or so, you will need to replace that battery.